In this video, we will see about how to upload files using Code Igniter framework. So I have already uh, successfully downloaded Code Igniter and I have installed Code Igniter in this folder. So this is the welcome controller of Code Igniter. Here, if I see, I have already made a project, mini block, and I have already uh, installed properly all the things needed in code igniter in order to uh, upload files let's first make a controller um, and let's call it upload.php for basics uh, basic coding of the particular controller let's copy it from the welcome controller and make the adjustments So here I will type like upload view. I will make a view for uploading form. This is going to be our form. And also I would need a function to upload. So I will call it as do upload. And what I will do is I will just print underscore R whatever data or the file data we have re receiving in the post file so this is going to be our post file and this is the normal view of the form so let's uh, use the bootstrap basic starter template those who don't have uh, knowledge about bootstrap can watch my videos on our channel for the bootstrap 4 these are much simplified videos and easy to understand and implement kind of videos so you i will highly encourage if you want to learn bootstrap and master the skills of bootstrap i do recommend you to check my videos <clears throat> on the channel so let's make the basic bootstrap structure we will not focus on the ui part right now okay so what i will do is i will just say that upload form okay now in order to upload In order to upload a form base URL then upload slash do underscore upload then the method would be the post method and ink type would be multi part slash form data so ink type is very important if we will not specify the ink type the file cannot be uploaded to the server okay so this is the first thing we need an action where the form when the form is submitted it will take the data to this particular function of the controller upload then the method is going to be the post method and the end type is very important now let's make an input field for the file and give it a name as custom file Okay, and give a class as form hyphen control. Okay, and also let's make a input type submit button. Give the name as submit, and give it as give it the class as btn primary. Now let's check the view 
what we have created yeah so you can see that the upload is called but it is giving me error that base URL is not defined so this error is because we have not loaded our helper called URL so I will just load it here URL and I think so this error will be gone then yeah now the forms look fine let's try to select a file and upload yes guys so we have successfully integrated this things like we have a form a UI form which is getting the file uh, the user file and it is submitting to this particular method which is a do upload method now our main aim is to upload this particular file on the server and keep a copy on the server okay so for this let's go to the documentation and click on the documentation go to codeigniter 3 online user guide let's search for file upload it's very simple to integrate uh, this particular code so this is basically a short form either you can write it like this the form what we have done or we can directly use the helper method of forms upload do upload so this is proper now uh, we are using the method called form open multi-part which is used for uploading the file but this method is present under the helper called form so if i run uh, this particular code it will give me an error you can see that error it states that the call is a call to undefined function form open multi-part so what we will do is similar to the helpers i would try to add the form helper also and then the error is gone either you can specify it like this or you can specify it like an array you can pass it like an array so there is no need to specify the same code again you can just pass it as a element in an array okay so if you try to inspect element and check the code of form open multi-part you will notice that it has automatically generated our action and type and method okay so it's up to you what you want to use if you want to use the helper function you can use that if you are comfortable with this uh, traditional coding of a form you can go ahead with this too so currently we are doing we are going ahead with this form multi part now if you see this we have already implemented now in the controller I'll just first of all I'll just copy and paste this do upload thing this is just to upload on the server so first of all we need a upload path where we want the files to get uploaded on our server so here by default it is uploads path so it depends on you what path you want to create what I will do is I will create a folder named assets and in the assets I will make a folder called uploads or upload okay so here it will be assets slash upload so dot slash asset means it will start from the base URL so base URL is nothing but the URL where we have installed the code igniter so it will search for asset 
after the base URL. In that asset, it will search for upload folder. And if we find upload folder, it will be uploading the particular files to this folder. Then the second is allowed types. You can restrict the users by specifying the types here. If the type is not matched with this, it will throw an error and we, we can catch that error here. Then maximum size, this is it. Okay. So currently it is 100 KB. Then the maximum width, like uh, maximum width can be 1024 and maximum height can be six uh, 768. Similarly, we can also specify minimum height and minimum width as well. Okay, so these are the basic uh, things uh, or the configurations for the uploading path and verifying that the particular size and dimensions are met properly and the allowed file types are there. So currently I am just removing this as I don't have the asset as per this configurations. So I am just commenting it these are the optional validations of the file so it's up to us like what validations we want to keep or what we don't want to keep okay and if i want to specify some more uh, types so i can just include a pipe symbol and i can specify the type of file whatever we need okay so this is the library upload library for uh, uploading the files now here do upload this is the uh, do upload is a function inside this library upload so here i want to we just need to specify the name of a file currently by default it is username so we'll just change it to this custom file and accordingly it will show us the errors or the success screen so currently we have not made any success screens so either you can create a success screen like they have made here see this is the success page they have given us either we can do that or currently i'll just do one thing i would rather print here print the error and die the script What I will do is VR H1 tag. I will write uploaded success. Fully. Okay. Now, what I will do is I will try to upload the file. And uh, I think so. This is a PDF file. So, I will try to upload the PDF file. So you can see that uh, first of all I have printed the dollar underscore files so I have this anymore so I will just comment it so it is giving us a uh, error that the file type you are attempting to upload is not allowed because we have tried to upload PDF and it was not mentioned the allowed types. So here we can restrict the user by specifying the respective file types. Now again, let's try to upload some another valid image maybe. Let's go on desktop and let's search for some image. So this is a PNG image. Let's click on that and see what it, it can be do. So it is saying that it is uploaded successfully. Now let's check our folder. We are in our project assets and upload folder. You can see that the main banner is uploaded here. So we have successfully integrated the uploading functionality of CodeIgniter. I hope this video was helpful. And for example, if I want PDFs also to get uploaded in this particular uh, upload form, then I can allow that PDF format in the allowed types and accordingly 
coding nighter will start uh, taking that allowed format and you can see that now it is successfully uploaded okay so i hope this video was helpful and uh, hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubt also i am going to start a mini project in coding nighter so i'll request all of my learners to uh, stay tuned with our channel soon we are going to start with a mini project thank you